が一人救えねえやつが木陰になんてなれるかよそうだろサスケ Hello guys welcome back to my reaction channel today we're going to be reacting to Naruto Shippuden episode 168 now guys the last episode was insane like the previous few like come on Naruto went on a rampage I don't even know whether that's Naruto or the beast, the tailed beast inside, we, we see them both in his subconscious. Naruto's curled up in a ball. Don't, he doesn't have the answers and he doesn't know how to get to the answers, okay? And we saw the demon manipulating him. I can give you everything you want. You just need to, you just need to release me, okay? Give, give yourself over to me, like, like the literal devil man like in every movie portrayed ever. This tail beast resembled that, okay? And Naruto tried to, 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 he tried to, to, to go and listen to him. And, and he, like, the tail beast even helped him, like, it raised him with the water inside his mind, whatever that is, plasma, I don't know, to, to, to make him reach for that seal, I guess you can call it like that. And then something very strange happened man because I, I i i don't understand it okay I, I watched it one more time how the hell is the fourth hokage over there that's what i don't get okay is this a flashback is it his imagination is he hallucinating what is going on but the fact that the tail beast also saw the fourth hokage the, the minato right naruto's dad tells me that this is not the hallucination this is similar to the case when you know, Sasuke went inside his mind and, and, and then the tail beast also saw him, you know? So that's very strange to me. I don't know how he... Like, isn't he dead? He's dead, man. So he can't possibly go inside his mind. And at the same time, it's also not a hallucination since the, the, the fox is also seeing him. So I don't know. I don't know what to think of this, guys. We're going to be jumping right into this because this is insanity right now, okay? This is literal insanity because outside of Naruto's head, mind, body... He's turning into a full-blown nine-tailed fox. Even Captain Yamato was like, how is this happening? Like, the symbol nine, I guess, was, was on his hand. I don't know how to read Japanese, but man. You know, even, even, even Yamato, who was rushing back to the Leaf Village, stopped and was like, I'm too late. How, how, how did this happen? Okay, so he is losing control. He broke through that to Pain's Jutsu and even Pain's in all. Like, can't believe it's this powerful, meaning the Nine Tails, right? Because Naruto is a Chinchuriki. But, you know, we saw when it entered the Four Tailed state, it, 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 it was in chakra mode. Then it gained, it gained, it started to gain a skeleton. And now it has muscles, man. Those are muscles, man. So muscles are, you know, enrailed the skeleton. And now uh, the only thing that's left is the skin. And, and the nine tails already appeared okay it has nine tails so are you telling me that the nine tails is actually the nine tails taking over naruto's body and naruto becomes trapped in that cage gets suppressed like my boy Orochimaru got suppressed in sasuke's mind before he touched he sealed them away is that what's going on here but i, I don't know i don't want to theorize too much okay i don't know what's going on at this point because how the hell is minato over there Okay, and he seemed to be standing right in front of Naruto. Naruto was like, the fourth Hokage. Like, you know, that's right. I don't think Naruto even knows that that's his dad. So that, that's just, I don't know, man. But I am fairly curious. So we're going to be jumping right into this. And before we do, if you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring that bell for notifications, guys. Follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server and my Patreon page. And let's jump right into this. Reaction. Let's go. Yep, that's the fourth man. I worked it into the seal spell that I'd appear in your psyche. If it ever happened that the seal unraveled to the point where you had sprouted the eighth tail. Oh. Truth be told, I'd hope that it would never get this far. Since I didn't ever want to see you again, Nine Tails. They know each other. Of course, they battled. forward to seeing the young man that my son had now oh been. yeah i guess it evens out well if that's the case then i think that i'll just remain over here <laughs> wouldn't you agree yeah wait you call me naruto you know who i am he just told you he's he, your dad 
world does the fourth Hokage know my name? Simple. I know because I named you. Because the truth is, you are my son. Bro. Did you say son? Seriously? Bro. That's right. Like I said before, you are my son. Bro. Bro. Do you realize the impact? He got to meet his pops. What a wait! He's a loud mouth, don't you think? So let's go somewhere quieter, okay? What? He can do that? <laughs> Lord Third Hokage didn't tell you much of anything, huh? Guess he wanted to suppress as much information about the Nine Tails as he could. If people had found out you were my son, you would have been in danger. Dad. you ever want to seal the nine tails inside of your own soul? I knew it. Do you have any idea what I went through because you did that? All of the grown-ups just looked at me with contempt or with fear, and I couldn't make any friends. I just wanted people to accept me, or at least not hate me. So I trained really hard to become as strong as I could. Oh, man. And I met Aruka sensei because she's sensei and perfect. That's a lot of information. I'm happy because they helped make me stronger. But just when things were looking up, a group called the Akatsuki came after me. So then I had to train even harder than I did before. I got stronger, but couldn't stop the Akatsuki from killing my friends. And I just, I mean, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Damn it, am I supposed to be happy or mad? I don't even know. <laughs> He's so precious, man. Naruto, how old are you now? <sighs> man, he doesn't know anything about his son. It must have been hard for you, Naruto. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I really am. Oh, I suppose it's a little consolation if I apologize now. After having put you through all of that difficulty. No, it's fine. After all, I'm the son of the fourth Hokage. <laughs> See? All to you. He gets it. Since you asked, I sealed half of the Ninetale Chakra inside of you. Because I believed that you could master this power. Half? I did it because you're my son. Did he say half? I sealed half of the nine tail chakra inside. He said half. There is a reason I went to the trouble to do this. A big one. Sixteen years before now, when the nine tails attacked the village, I learned something. What? Back then. A mastermind orchestrated the whole Nine Tails attack. Mastermind? Quite a formidable shinobi. Someone you'd need extraordinary strength to stand against and hope to defeat. Madara? I believe he'll attack our village again. Madara. But the entire leaf village has already been destroyed. Yeah. I saw. He saw? I'm inside your mind. Oh. What? So he can see everything? I know about Jiraiya Sensei too. So, was Pain the one who attacked the village before? He using the Nine Tails? No. It wasn't him that Yeah. Time. Then who was it? He was an Akatsuki. The one who wears that mask. Madara! When we fought, he saw right through every single one of my moves. It was extraordinary. In fact, I think that he's the one using pain. No way! You're wrong! Pain has a grudge against us! He said that the Hidden Leaf ruined his village a long time yeah, ago! Yeah, but... That's exactly right. And that hatred is being used. Yeah. He's really being used? Someone as strong as he is? Then what about this mastermind mass ninja? What's he up to? Why is the Hidden Leaf always the target? As long as a shinobi culture exists, there may never be true peace and order. Pain queried you about peace. Finding the solution is difficult. Yeah, man. If it was easy, somebody would have found it by now, okay? There's no solution. At this point, the only thing they have is just, 
you know, ways to gain peace momentarily, like for short periods of time until, you know, mankind goes to its natural way and starts, you know, just, man, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ri how are you gonna start off the episode like this? I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate them answering my questions and my main question, how is the, the fourth here in the first 30 seconds of this episode, but then how are you gonna start an episode like this, okay? Naruto, what a way to meet your pups. Can we just acknowledge this for a second? He integrated himself in the seal for him to pop up if, if, if it ever comes a time where eight tails appear. And he hoped that that time would never come, but it came and nine tails appeared, okay? So he had to step in. So he was implemented in the seal way back when he died and sacrificed himself by sealing, like, he said half of the nine tails chakra inside his kid. So what about the other half? That's, that's interesting. Also, how the hell, how the hell are you just gonna come here and say, you're my son, you know? Of course Naruto punched him. You know how hard his life was because of this guy, because of his own dad, but I, I know, I, I, I love how they spin that around. Even Naruto acknowledging it himself, like I'm the son of the fourth. I'll manage, you know, and him saying, I did it because you are my son and I knew that you can endure, you know, and as some of you guys pointed out, a lot of the Chinchuriki are like, you know, close to the Kage, current Kage, you know, like Gada was to his dad, like B is to his brother, you know, like Naruto was to the fourth, so which tells me that they feel more comfortable putting this burden on somebody they like, uh, the, you know, that's their own than some from the villagers. You know, it wouldn't be fair if they put it on somebody like randomly. So I guess it's easier, but at the same time, that loved one is suffering because we saw that how, how, how the Chinchuriki are usually treated. We saw it with Utakata as well. It's just, man, and it, it was happening throughout the generations. And this, man, I can't get over the fact how they started the episode. And, and, and Minato, coming in like a G, talking down to the nine tails, telling him he's like, he literally said, I wanted to see, you know, I'm not glad that I appeared here because I never wanted to see him again, looking at the nine tails, nine tails all, you know, raging out because yes, of course he's gonna hate a guy who imprisoned him inside of a kid, you know, even though he died himself, like it's just, the hate is there. And he's like, I never wanted to see that dude again. But at the same time, I'm glad that I got to see my son and, and how, you know, to see that he grew up, to see. And, and Naruto didn't even catch it. He's like, wait, you, you called me Naruto? How, how, how do you know my name? He was like, it's because you're my son, man. Keep up. <laughs> like, how are you going to put that on him? Like, how are you going to put a scene like this in the middle of such a battle, man? And how does this seal even work? You implement a piece of your consciousness into the seal, but then when you appear, is that just, it's, is it like when I record and then you just see the recording, but they're having full blown conversation. So is Minato actually conscious? Is his consciousness, even though he's dead, a piece of him is alive here and he gets to see his son? What is happening here? Okay. So a lot of questions, a lot of freaking questions have just been raised in my mind, but the way they did this, guys, and how Minato, like, the Nine Tails started shouting, and he's like, okay, he, he's a loud mouth, let's, let's, let's go somewhere else, and then everything became godly, angelic almost, like, the, 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 the white, the soothing, the, 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 you know, it's just the way, as soon as I saw that room, it kind of, this calm took over, and their conversation, it just, man, Naruto crying and, and, and how they did that scene of him just being totally distraught saying all this shiz that he always wanted to say but then in this rudimentary way like going from like you know not even knowing what he's saying because yes that's how someone like this would react how would you react if you were 16 years old never got to never even knew who your dad was lived the life that he lived and then all of a sudden in that in a situation like this in a horrible situation like this, where you're losing control of your body to a demon, essentially, while an even more powerful enemy is waiting for to kill you downstairs, like pain, and he, this is when you get to meet your dad, who's none other than the fourth Hokage, 
whom you've been looking up to your entire life. Can you not see? Can, can you not see how 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 anybody would lose their mind? And I love how they portrayed that. You know, Naruto wasn't like cool and chill. No, he lost his freaking mind. Just like Sasuke is acting right now because he lost his brother. Okay, people need to understand that this is character development. This is how person would react. A normal person, you know. Sasuke went through such atrocious trauma, I'm surprised he hasn't gone even more berserk, okay? And Naruto here, man, the way they portray that, I'm just, I love this show, okay? I love this show, so many questions, but let's continue. So Naruto, how would you confront this hatred in order to create peace? Yeah, no answer. In order to try to protect something that's precious, wars are waged. Yeah. Uh, Lives are lost. As long as there is love in this world, it will also be yep. hate. And some will take advantage of that hatred. Yep. As long as we have this ninja system, this monster known as hate will live. It will give birth to more pains. Pain may have actually killed Jiraiya Sensei. But if you look deeper, then one could even say that this disordered shinobi world created pain. Exactly! Pin explained it, he explained this himself, man. What I just did, you're trying to do to me, okay? This is just a vicious cycle, man. This is a cycle of hatred. It just goes on and on and on. And even the fourth understands it. I love how they understand it, but they still didn't have the answer, okay? They still don't know the answer. So how do they expect Naruto to have the answer? And I forgot that he also mentioned that... There's a reason. There's a reason behind all of that. Why he sealed the Nine Tails in Naruto. Why? You know? A threat. That's been a long time coming. Ever since way back when, man. Okay? Madara talked about this. He was the one who was controlling the Nine Tails. He was the one that had that ability. You remember the conversation between the Toad and Jiraiya? Before he went into the Pain Village? You know? The Rain Village? He... He said there was one who was capable of, of controlling a tail beast. And it was Madara, Toby, okay? And, and Minato just confirmed it. There was one. And no, it's not Pain. Even this guy Pain, even though he's so powerful, he's being manipulated. We saw that. The real man, the real leader behind the shadows is Toby, aka Madara. And he battled. Come on, man. He, he, even Minato battled him way back when. And I just can't believe that. The plot twist. The full circle. So now he came back from the grave to tell Naruto that there is an even bigger threat. There's an, you know, even though the village is already destroyed, there's an even bigger threat out there. And it's on Naruto to fix it. It's on Naruto, you know? And what he said here is sure you can blame Pain. He's essentially giving him the answer, man. You can blame Pain for Jiraiya's death and for all this destruction. But if you look deeper... This whole shinobi world is so bad that it created pain and then pain. So you can't really blame him. He's a victim of this world as well. Just like all of us. It's just so deep, man. You just need to listen. To be a ninja means that you must confront hatred. And every one of us must battle against that hatred. Jiraiya Sensei bequeathed to you the quest for the solution that would end this hatred. But how can I when I can't find a way to forgive pain? Yeah, man. It's not easy. There's just no way. But I can. I know. Fourth Hokage, please tell me. What should I do? Yeah, he just wants the answer, but... I don't think he has it, man. You must find that answer for yourself. Yeah. Because... Even I don't know. Yeah. But if you and Pervy Saint don't have a clue about the answer, how am I ever supposed to figure it That's out? That's true. Everyone expects too much of me. I mean, look at me. I'm not smart. I'm not a great ninja. I'm, I'm just me. And how's a guy like me supposed to... You talk too I'm much. I'm certain that you'll be able to find the answer, Naruto. Yep. Because I believe in you completely. Yep. That's all it takes, man. If such powerful people like him and Jiraiya believe in you, Tsunade, man, you do. that's all you need. You really think I can? Well, a parent's duty is to unconditionally believe in their children. <laughs> now then, I'm afraid that it's 
time for me to go. My chakra's starting to fade. Oh, so he's gonna... No, don't go. He's gonna leave. I'll rebuild the seal now. But this will be the last time. Oh, so he can... And a hidden leaf can be rebuilt. Naruto, you can do it. Bro, this is so inspirational, man. Look at him, the determination. Thanks. Yes! I was just about to say, it's so weird. It's so weird when you know that he's dead and he's calls him the fourth Hokage, okay? And in the end, of course, he's gonna call him dad. Thanks, dad, man. Come on. That was so inspirational. You can do it. The village can always be rebuilt. The people, the people are what's in, you know what's important, and that's you know we saw that they, you know, evacuated the civilians. Most of them, yeah, a lot of people died, man. But as long as 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 long as there are still survivors, you can rebuild, man. So don't don't put yourself down. There's still hope, but man, you cannot go on a rampage like this ever again because I won't be there next time. It's essentially what Itachi told Sasuke. Right before he died, you guys told me that in the subversion, he told me, sorry Sasuke, there, there won't be a next time. It's the freaking same thing! Okay, I am, I am, wow, man. Wow, this show, okay, I, 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 this show, man. This show, I have no words anymore. How are you gonna start an episode like this? I, I still can't believe right off the bat, through all this information in my face and just see, ha, let's see how you react. Damn, I just got hyped. Inspir in I got inspired, man. I got inspired by that speech. That's just... Naruto got inspired. Did you see the determination in his eyes? He, he redid the seal, man. So he... We don't need Yamato. Come on. Come on. That was just amazing. Oh, so he's still... In this state. Digging himself out of planetary devastation. Yep. What incredible. Yeah, man. I'm going to have to increase its size then. Oh, is it because the seal was what? Oh, and he's in sage mode. His doubt has been erased. Yep. Oh yeah, you have no idea. Master, does he now control the nine tails? I don't think that's the case. Nagato, no. Oh, this guy's gonna die, man. Yup, he can't even keep it in place. Okay. He's nearing his end. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that his pops, the poor Hokage, came back simply to help Naruto get over this. Like, come on, come on, I loved the scene where the Nine Tails was like, I'm not gonna kill you, but like, couldn't get out of the cage, and the Frost was just, shut the hell up. You know, it was just so good. Damn, I got hyped. Yep, Naruto is back to his usual self, calmed down. I hope they into the night hills disturb my chakra. It made me lose my last shadow clone at Mount Miyoboku. How is he in sage mode then? I thought that's what he used. He was already in sage mode as soon as that nine tails disappeared. That means I can only use the sage jutsu chakra I have left inside me. Okay. Is it because before he was in the sage mode? And he didn't deplete that natural energy? Okay, I have high hopes now because Naruto is refreshed and this guy, he's apparently ill. Yep. He's tough. Mm -hmm. I confirm the extent of the Nine Tails power, but I never imagined planetary devastation wouldn't stop him. <laughs> she survived. I was gonna die. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Over that way. Well, what is 
You do good, mortal. Yeah, I you thought it. Nine tails state. Yep, just like last time. Hinata was there. Did I kill Hinata? No. All the people of the Lake Village. She's alive. I can sense Hinata's. She can sense it because of the sage mode. Quite worried, but no casualties resulted from your assault, even though you were in full Nine Tails state. That's a relief. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you don't know what a relief that is. Yes. Because last time he heard Sakura, man. Hinata. Nobody helped her? Come on, guy! Hinata. Guy's back. Her injuries don't appear fatal, but she needs treatment right now. I'll look for a medical ninja right away. Yeah. But Guy's back! Guy's back! Oh, he told him. Look, there is a wounded toad here too. Please tell me he's alive. Man. The time has come for us to end this. Okay, so this is. The final one we won. Do you finally comprehend pain? Unless you come to know the same pain, you cannot truly comprehend someone else. And even if you comprehend them, you still may not ever agree with them. That is the truth. That is the reason it's useless for you to chase after Sasuke. Enough of this! Just take me to where the real pain is! <laughs> I want to talk to him face to face now. Yep! Yup, cause he told him that wasn't the case, I'm not the last one, there's still the real me somewhere out there. This guy's like, enough with the puppets! I wanna talk to him. I wanna talk to you, man. Guy to guy, okay? So, okay, Naruto seems more determined. Maybe he figured out... You know, because... I don't know, man. He still needs to... He, it's a hard burden that he's carrying right now. You know, needing to find the answer to peace. Nobody knows the answer! But like, you know, it's just... It's hard. Even the fourth. Like I said, even the fourth, even Jiraiya, even such wise men who, who, who devoted their entire lives to such things couldn't find the answer. Okay? Couldn't. They just put it all on Naruto and were like, you do it! <laughs> you know? So this is not easy. But I respect him for, for, for trying. Enough of this. Just take me to where the real pain is. I want to talk to him face to face now. Yep. So you figured that part out, did you? Yeah, I well. Sensei and now you as well, the leaf ninja are really quite impressive. But our discussion's over. Further conversation will change absolutely nothing. I just want to discuss something with him. You're in sage mode now. I believe that you are limited to generating only two of those bothersome chakra shuriken at a time. Oh, Rasen and Shuriken. And that causes your sage mode to run out. I guess Depleted. I no choice but to fight you, huh? If both of your shuriken should miss, the only possible outcome is that you shall lose. You have no more chances. I will take you almost to the point of death and haul you off. Well, um, before they start fighting, because they're gonna duke it out anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm low-key surprised because Bain was ready to listen to him before. You know when he was pinned to the ground, but now he doesn't want. I mean, I get it. He doesn't want to expose his real self. We saw it. He's a bit fragile, like he's sick or something. But at the same time, you know, Naruto wants to talk. And he w preaches about peace. He said that they're sibling students, that they ought to be able to understand one another. So why doesn't he try to resolve this? In a, you know, but I get it. He asked him before. He gave him a chance before. He didn't have the answer before. So why would he assume Naruto has the answer now? Or has anything new to contribute to the conversation? So he's just, I'm going to catch you and I'm going to, you know, do go about my way of peace as I see it. You know, so I get it. 
find the real pain myself then. How? How are you going to do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, he kicked the living, you know, out of him. Wait, he took? What? You nuts, man? Wait. Is he trying to... He traced it. He traced him. Are you kidding me? Naruto. Naruto is just on another level right now. Bruh. Okay, here we go. Yup. Ooh, another one. Second one using shadow shooting control two. The window is five seconds. I can do this. Sage mode gone. Ooh. Ah, uh, he dodged that one. Ah, uh, he didn't manage to hit him in the interval of five seconds. For, what is this, Dragon Ball? Only three more seconds until I can launch my next jutsu. But two shots, both missed. It's over. What? We still have two seconds. Go! Okay, this is Dragon Ball now, and I'm loving it. <laughs> Shadow clones. When? Where did he? One more second. Is he gonna make it? Zero. I knew it. He's not gonna make it. But he just keeps. Piling on! Piling on! He's using shadow clothes as backup? You with no answers and no solutions. Just get up! Yeah, he's getting flustered! I truly believe that the day will come when all people understand one another and live in peace. If I can't find a solution to this problem, then perhaps I'll entrust you to find it instead, Naruto. I'm certain that you'll be able to find the answer. I believe in you completely. It's because I truly believe that you are the only shinobi who can surpass the fourth Hokage. All the great men believing in him. The music. He withstood that. Can't be. Oh, he's done, man. Okay. Distance will keep me safe. Look, pain. Just give up. I'm trying to make me give up. <laughs> he got him. Okay. Dragon Ball seconds aside, <laughs> guys. Wow, man, that, that was so well done. Pain, give up on me giving up because I have the guts. Never give up! That's what his master Jiraiya taught him. That's what, you know, and I love how they did that. I love how they showed Kakashi believing in him, Jiraiya believing in him, his pops, the fourth Hokage, Minato believing in him. Come on, even he doesn't believe in him. Come on, man. You know, when he was battling Orochimaru, he was like, the will of fire has been passed. 
and in his mind, you know, they kept switching the scenes between Naruto fighting Gaara and, and, and Kiruzen slowly passing away and he's just, you know, that's how all of them put their faith, Tsunade, into this boy. And he just delivered, man, and I love how he stepped up, he was like, I wanna talk to the real you. This guy's, nope! You gotta go through this guy first, and he did so like a G man, and he took that win. He took that W as it seems. And he's surprised this guy, but I love how flustered he got you with no answers and no, you know? Cause yes, Naruto still doesn't have any answers, and everything Naruto says it's it's just talk. You know, to this guy. It's just talk, man. Cause I've suffered, he has suffered his entire life as well. So you just promising you stuff and not doing anything about it doesn't do anything for me, you know? If you had real solutions, he might have listened to him, but, you know, Naruto's still a kid, so that's kind of, that's kind of, it's tough, man, it's tough, it's tough, but how they did this episode, man, this episode was so unexpected, man, every episode, like, before this, it was amazing, and then even more amazing, and then I, I, I thought that they finally topped the amazing part because, you know, it, it, I thought it was gonna stay up, but no, plot twist, we, we're going even higher, like, you know, Minato appearing, explaining all of that at the beginning of the episode, then this battle and him, looks like he finally, but they really slowed those seconds, they really slowed down those seconds in order for Naruto to, but I guess it was five seconds, so they had to do it in order for us to see the precise movements and, and, and you know, so he turned all the rumble around pain into you know shadow clones and transformed them into rumble into 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 rocks and as pain was you know lowering his guard they just started attacking and they almost got it but he did the, the, the push thing and, and they went you know but then he, he started you know piling on shadow clones and just keeping them in place and he managed to do so and then he threw himself finally with the Rasengan and hit him in that five second interval and that was epic. Okay, Pain, give up on me giving up. Because I need to avenge my sensei and my people and save this village, rebuild this village. I still, man, the, the best part of this episode, let's be honest, was, was him and Minato conversing. But the last part was also epic, so this whole entire episode has been nothing but insanity. In Insanity. Insanity. Okay, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth as the Rush Hour movie said? Come on, man. You can't tell me this isn't hype. This is so hype. You know, even when, when the scenes are sad, they make it sad and hype at the same time. Damn, man. This show is just on another level. They're just on another level. And I love it. I am thoroughly enjoying this show so far. Even... Oh, man. Also, the fact that Minato himself told Naruto that there's an even bigger threat after this guy. I mean, we still haven't defeated this guy. Nagato himself and Conan, two more Akatsuki members, real ones this time, are, are still around the village. And they're strong, strong. Uh, uh, you know, okay, Nagato seems a bit, you know, depleted, but Conan is still there to protect him. So that's not gonna be easy, easy. You know, but we do know that our guys are also searching. For Nagato, so it's probably gonna be a bit easier on Naruto when he has reinforcements. But okay, I don't know. I, I can't honestly. I can't wait to jump into the next one and see where this goes. So guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. Okay, uh, we have a bigger threat, and that's Madara apparently. And I thought as much because they showed us that these two are pretty much the leaders, Pain and Madara. But that guy Zetsu, we still don't know anything about him, so he's sus to me as well, because every time they show Toby Madara talking to somebody, it's Zetsu, and it's somewhere away where nobody can see them. So that guy might also be strong, strong. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, those are my thoughts on this episode. Sorry if I talk too much, but you know, <laughs> come on, man. I just, I had to, it's amazing what they do. This, man, I I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Just like Naruto when he when he started talking to his pops. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.